Welcome to Action Portal Software. This video is an introduction to the AXSTR4 streaming multi zone amplifier. This amplifier features four zones of audio, expandable up to 40 zones, at 15 watts per channel. You have two analog inputs, an expansion port to connect additional units to reach that 40 zone, two keypad input ports. These keypad input ports are also IR receiving ports since you cannot directly control devices through the keypads. The keypads are intended for selection and volume. However, with a third party remote control, you can control devices through IR through the keypads. Has Ethernet ports. This sits on your network. Reason being, we have two internal streaming decoders. Uh, you can connect NAS drives. Uh, computers on your network, any place you have music, music servers throughout your house, or you can use the two streams of built-in internet radio that are built into your system as well. This system is designed to fit in your structure wire can, therefore you'll home run your speakers and all the other vital wires right there to your structure wire can where you'll make all of your connections uh, throughout your house system can be easily fit into a structure wire can because of the small size. The STR4 is set up in Axiom Portal software. Just like any other amplifier, uh, you go into your Axiom Portal software. In this project, I have already added the STR4 and keypads. Uh, so you're going to set up your keypads and your STR4 right here in the Axiom Portal software. The important things you're going to want to do, of course, is obtain your network information uh, for your STR4. And the next thing you want to do, um, since this does have two streaming uh, media outputs on it, is go right here and go ahead and add any NAS drives or any computer drives or, or iTunes or any, any music library that you may have sitting on a PC or anywhere else on your network. You want to go ahead to Media Server and you want to go ahead and add that. Also, you can set up keypads as well. Uh, now, you don't have direct control of devices uh, with the STR but you do have the ability to of course switch sources and you have the ability to control volume and also bring up the media which you do have control of and you can set up media pages on your keypad simply by using the Axiom Portal software you set up your keypads the same way uh, you would uh, using the AX800 or 400 uh, this one we're using a, a KPC keypad and we also did set up a KPD keypad uh, which you still set up the same way as any other device except you're adding media players to it. Adding these media players will give you metadata. So after you do your Axiom Portal software, simply upload it to your keypads as usual. Set up and upload uh, your uh, STR4 right here, same way, setting up your sources and making sure you have the network information and everything needed. You can simply go ahead and upload to your system and it's ready to go. So if you're using a tablet, Android or Apple device to operate your system, of course you want to go ahead and download the Axiom Portal software onto your device, either at the Apple Store or the Play Store. The way you access it, just go ahead and hit your Axiom Portal software and what that will do, go ahead and scan your network and it will automatically find the STR4 uh, sitting on your network. What you get after you get that, you get your four input sources. These are the two analog input sources that we have. I have a tablet, uh, which is I'm streaming Pandora off of this tablet. I also have a Sonos. I can go ahead and pull right off of my Sonos as well. And these are the two streaming media sources. Now, anything that I have on a media We'll go ahead and show up right here. Now, what this is right here, this is the internal radio that I'm using on this source right here. Now, if I wanted to, I can go and back up, go ahead, and select a different radio station, and go back again twice and choose a different genre. If I want to go to the 90s, I can go ahead and go to the 90s and then choose a station of the 90s hits that I want to play. You would notice right here, it takes a little bit of time to buffer, and that, now that would depend on your network, uh, that speed of that. As you can see, in most cases, it's a couple of seconds before that they would actually bring up that station. Once again, depending on uh, your network, it would be more robust in some cases. I'd go back again, I'd go home again, and I'd go to my second streaming source as well. 
gives me two uh, separate sources that I can stream from here. And here, if I go ahead and I choose just classic hits here, choose my second stream here. So now what I would have, the access uh, in different zones throughout the house, I can play different sources of music or different streams. And I have four different sources to choose from. As you can see, this one takes a little bit more time to, to buffer than the other. Once it's there, there you go, that music's now playing in that zone or that source there. Here I can choose so which zone I actually want to operate my music in. Right now I'm in the living room, so I'm going ahead and I'm choosing the living room source at this point. But I can go to the bedroom, choose a stream of music or a source of music, the kitchen and the dining room. This is a matrix system, so it will play these different sources in these different areas here. So I can go back to my tablet and choose. I can choose uh, my first media stream or my Sotos. Or the area that I want to play that in. Now, if you have an existing program that's sitting on your on your iPad already, so say you already have a theater in your house. Now, this they can occupy at the same time. The way you would do that is this. I'm going to go right here and go ahead and hit this button down here for the uh, selections that are on the Galaxy tablet. Here, I'm going to go ahead and hit Options. Once I hit Options here, I'm going to go to Layout. And what I'm going to do, if I hit auto, it takes me back to the original program that I have for my whole house that's already on my tablet or for my uh, theater or whatever. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and hit that. And as you can see, it'll go back and it will upload uh, that original program that I had on there. And I can still control my zones throughout this area right here. But the sources, of course, are different for the STR than they are that you have for your original whole house audio system or for your theater. Um, so you can operate both uh, using the same iPad. Once again, you just go back and you just choose which option. Now, once again, the STR will give you three options of what you want that layout to look like. Um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and choose uh, the brushed aluminum look there. Okay, you go ahead and quit that once again and reopen your program. And what that does, that will bring up uh, the STR program right here. And I can go right ahead and power that up and do the same thing, choose my sources, and bring up the same metadata for my players. That's how you access it through an iPad or iPhone, Android, or Apple device. Here's some basic connectivity for your STR1. In this case I'm using uh, the analog input for my Sonos which I have remoted. I'm also adding to my other analog inputs just a CD player. Here I'm adding a couple of keypads, a KPC and KPD keypad, keeping in mind that these keypads can be daisy chained. Adding it to my network that gives me access to my NAS drive, computer drives and also my web interface as well as my Android and Apple devices. Here I'm just accessing and adding my speakers to my system. As you can see, this is all once again tucked away in my little structure wire can. And it's uh, kind of ready to go uh, when your client moves into their home. This is the STR4, new from Axiom, current audio structure wire solution.